Hi, good morning. My name is Mark Gallagher. I'm the area director for uh, the UK for Dorset Hospitality International. Uh, and we're here at ATM to promote our brand. Our, uh, we've grown so significantly in the last few years. Uh, we've now got presence across the globe from Australia to Asia, uh, right over to the UK where we have a couple of hotels in London. Uh, so we're here to promote our brand in the Middle East uh, and encourage some of the Middle East travellers to visit uh, some of our new locations across the globe. Great, thank you very much for joining us here on Breaking Travel News today. We've got something a little bit different for our viewers today, haven't sure. we? Because we're going to talk robots and cleaning yes. robots. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, sure. I mean, we are, we are very big on technology. Um, and it was really born from really about sustainability, uh, about cleanliness and the, and the, uh, and the necessity uh, for hygiene after COVID in our, in our hotels. We have some really great uh, cleaning robot partners, uh, which we've got on trial at some of our Asian hotels, uh, and also our new hotel in Queensland, uh, uh, Queensland in Australia. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a terrific uh, idea. We're really looking at it from a, from a staffing and a sustainability point of view. Um, everybody knows that we have struggled to find a good a good level of staff in the industry. A lot of people have moved out the industry globally, uh, not just in the UK, not just in Asia or, or Australia where we have our hotels. Um, and we're looking at new ways to try and replace some of those staff and make our hotels more efficient um, and, and get more productivity out of the staff that we do have in the, in the hotels. That's great. Perhaps you can talk to me a little bit more about the sustainability side of things. Sure, absolutely. I mean, it's all about uh, cleanliness and and uh, and not using the, the materials that traditional hotels use to, for cleaning uh, or for packaging, etc. So the robots just an act themselves. They don't take any um, uh, materials, etc. They just wander around the the hotel, very productive. Their 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 cleanliness is probably about three or four times more in depth than a normal cleaner or a, or, a, or a person doing the job. Even if they were really thorough, it, this, this one does it better, three, three or four more times better than the thing. So it's just about saving saving productivity, uh, saving materials, um, and it doesn't really use that much electricity, actually. It's very easy and, and quick to charge, and it lasts a, a, a great amount of time to cover all the corridors and public spaces in our hotels. They haven't invented a clever enough one to do a a hotel bedroom yet, uh, but but it's very efficient, it's really good. That's great, and for those who don't know, it's sort of like a giant rum bar, isn't it? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> and it's a great machine, and it, and you know, if it, if it meets somebody in the corridor, it, it turns around and, and avoids them, and, and, it, and, and it's really efficient, they're great to have, they're, it's really made our housekeeping department very, very more, much more efficient in the, in the hotels, and um, yeah, it's been a great it's been a great partnership, and hopefully we'll roll them out eventually across all the all the hotels. They're still a little bit expensive because they're in their initial stage, but hopefully, you know, through investment and and uh, and through their, their productivity, they'll become more a uh, uh, we'll get more return for our for our money. But we're also looking at I mean, it's not just the cleaning robots. So we've got also our partners from. Uh, have the check-in robots here as well so we're trying to get rid of the whole paper a, a transaction at the front desk when you check in and, and check out of your of your hotel so anybody who doesn't want to interact or doesn't want to a, have to check in through the front desk can simply check in on the robot get their key issued by the robot and off to the off to the room themselves so it's ultra efficient Yes. So sustainability is a keen theme, and you sort of touched sure. on it there. Is that something that you try to build into all of your practices? Oh, I, everything that we do, it's a, it's a huge part of our agenda. As business leaders, a, really driven by our president, Winnie, Winnie Chu, um, as business leaders, we have really tough KPIs on sustainability. Um, ESG is a huge part of our business. Um, every every region, you know, I'm in charge of the UK region and Europe and a, the guys in Asia and the guys in Australia um, have really tough targets on, on ESG and uh, especially around energy consumption, you know, coming up with new initiatives like our uh, Dow Park Hotel that we've just built in London last year. We have, we have put solar panels on all the roof um, and we're adding more of them actually onto the, onto the property. As you can imagine, not just sustainability but obviously the high rising costs of of energy these days and we're trying everything to try and uh, reduce that and then also looking at some really innovative stuff around a uh, micro re regeneration on your 
um, and your CHP machines, old redundant CHP machines in, in hotels, these guys can uh, regenerate them and make them much more efficient in, in using your energy to, to power the hotel. That's great, some really concrete things there, Absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and so we're here at Arabian Travel Market here in Dubai. Why are events such as this important for you to reach your uh, partners? Well, I think I think ATM. I mean, this is the first time we've done it as a as a global company. Um, we've grown quite fast over the over the last few years, um, but certainly now, you know, just talking to the regional guys uh, on on where you know where business calls and, and we've started to see quite a bit of a, a Middle East market a creep into Malaysia, a, also Australia. So so. This this region, they're getting um, they're getting really adventurous and going to new. I mean, they've always a uh, they've always had a penchant for London. Uh, uh, we get a huge Middle East market in in London, uh, especially in the summer months uh, during Eid. Um, they love the shopping, as you as you know. Uh, but they're starting to move out and take um, more experiential uh, visits to the likes of Malaysia, Singapore, uh, uh, the Gold Coast in Australia. Um, and hopefully our new hotels in Melbourne and, and Brisbane coming up next year. So, um, so that's the reason. That's the main reason is trying to get the Dorset name out in the Middle East. And and part of our delegation who are not here today are actually looking at new opportunities to expand into uh, into the Middle East and maybe open a few new hotels in the next few years. That's great. You mentioned two new hotels. Was that Melbourne and Melbourne? And uh, so we opened uh, the Gold Coast, a uh, Dorset Gold Coast last year. Uh, it's doing exceptionally well. Uh, Melbourne opened last week, a uh, brand new uh, hotel in Melbourne. Um, we also own the Ritz Carlton in Melbourne. Melbourne's a group, but obviously that's under the Marriott Marriott brand. And uh, but it's, it's part of a complex, so it's a great it's a great scheme. Brilliant new addition to the to the Melbourne scene. A fantastic hotel. It's our new design evolution for for Dorset. It's going to become our new standard going forward. And then we have another really exciting project project in Brisbane opening, which is a big scale residential. A, it's going to be a, either a Ritz Carlton or Rosewood. I'm not quite sure yet. And then and then another Dorset in Brisbane with a very big sort of a retail and food and beverage outlet. Excellent. And finally, do you have a message for our viewers here at ATM and beyond? Yeah, I think just keep travelling, right? You know, explore the world, explore new uh, new regions, especially where we've got our hotels in Malaysia and Australia and the UK. Uh, but also, you know, take care of the planet. You know, sustainability is a is a huge thing for Dorset hospitality, and if we can if we can get our guests to convey that when they stay at our hotels, then we'll make a better world, hopefully. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Pleasure. Thank you.